Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how we can fix this error. The error that we get on uh, Android devices. That is unfortunately the process com.android.phone has stopped. Okay, so how uh, we can fix this error? I'm gonna show you a couple of methods and you can try that out. Okay guys, so method one we have is uh, we have to clear the cache and data of the phone app. Okay, so in order to do that, uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and you have to find your apps or application manager so I have you know apps over here so just tap on it and here you need to swipe to the right to this all tabs and here you have to find the phone okay the phone app so let me find that okay 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 guys, so as you can see that we uh, you know I have you know two you know phone app over here. So I just need to tap on it in order to find that the com.android.phone process. So this is you know com.android.server.telecom. So no problem, just tap on uh, clear data and then tap on OK and just go back and then tap on you know second one that is com.android.phone okay so we just need to clear the data of this process only okay so just tap on clear data and then tap on okay okay guys so after that you need to restart your phone and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so suppose you know this method one doesn't work for you then you can try this method two okay so method two is uh, we have to disable automatic time zone so in order to do that uh, you have to go to the settings of your phone and here you need to find the date and time okay so let me find that so just tap on date and time and as you can see i have enabled automatic time zone okay so just tap on it in order to disable it and just select your time zone from here by just you know tapping on it okay and just select uh, your time zone according to your place okay and guys after that you need to uh, restart your phone and let's see if this you know fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so suppose you know this method 2 also you know doesn't work for you then you can try this method 3 okay so before doing this uh, take backup of your contacts okay using any backup app so uh, in this uh, you know method we have to clear the cache and data of the sim toolkit okay so in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and here you need to find the apps or application manager okay so just tap on it and then swipe to the right you know to all tabs over here and here you need to find the sim toolkit okay so let me find that here I have okay so just tap on it and I already you know cleared my you know data over here of you know the sim toolkit you just need to tap on this clear data okay and after clearing the data you need to restart your phone and let's see if this fixes your issue or not okay okay guys so suppose you know this method 3 also doesn't work for you then you can try method 4 and before doing this uh, you have to take backup of your contacts okay so uh, in this you know method we have to clear the data of contacts in the contacts storage and force stop them okay and after that we will restart our phone okay guys so uh, in order to do that you have to go to the settings of your phone and you have to find here apps or application manager so just tap on it and then here you need to swipe to the right to all tabs okay and here you need to find the contacts and the contacts storage so as you can see I have here so just tap on contacts first and then tap on clear data and then tap on ok and then tap on force stop and then tap on ok and just go back and open contact storage by tapping on it 
and then tap on clear data and then tap on OK and just force a stop. Uh, this also, okay. Okay, so let me, you know, again tap on it in order to do that. Okay, as you can see, it's now start. Okay, guys, so after that, you need to uh, restart your phone and let's see if this, you know, fixes your issue or not, okay? Okay, guys, so suppose, you know, this method 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, doesn't work for you, then you can try this method 4, but in 99% cases, uh, this, you know, works. So the method 5 is, you know, uh, you have to take ba backup and do a factory reset, okay? So, uh, suppose in some cases, uh, you know, method 1, 2, 3, 4 doesn't work, then you can do this factory reset. So you just need to go to the settings of your phone again and uh, here you need to find backup and reset. Okay, so just tap on it and just do a backup, okay? And, and before, you know, doing factory data reset. Okay, so just tap on factory data reset when, uh, when you have, you know, taken the backup. Okay guys, so after that you need to just, you know, tap on this reset phone and it will do the job for you, okay? Just follow the instructions. Okay guys, so, but, uh, you know, I don't recommend it doing that, but uh, in this, you know, worst cases, you can try this method also, okay? Okay guys, so uh, let me know in the comment section whether it fixes your issue or not. And so that's it for this video and if you if this video uh, helps you then please give it uh, you know like and thanks for watching